Hello and welcome to Auten Math. In this edition of Auten Math, we're going to talk more specifically about graphing and writing equations of parabolas. So, just a quick review on uh, parabolas. We have uh, parabolas that face up or down. Uh, parabolas that face up or down. Y, the y value is not going to be squared. The x value is going to be squared. Uh, if uh, the parabola faces down, I have y is equal to negative x squared, negative y is equal to x squared. So in the first graph where the parabola faces up, both the y and the x values are either uh, positive or negative. And when the graph faces down, uh, of course, y has, uh, is to the first, x is squared, and either y or x is going to be negative. When a parabola faces to the right, and then I have x is equal to y squared, and x and y are both uh, positive or negative. And then when I have negative x is equal to y squared, or x is equal to negative y squared, then the parabola opens uh, to the left. All right, then we talked about uh, the different components of a parabola, and then we went into the uh, uh, equation for a translated parabola, and also what the definition of a parabola is. So let's go back and talk about a, the definition of a parabola. So a parabola is a set of all points which are equidistant from a point that's fixed called the focus and a line called the directrix. So if I were to uh, find that point called the focus, draw a line from the focus to the parabola, and then draw a line from the parabola to the directrix, then those two lines or segments would be equidistant. Now I say that the distance between the vertex and the focus is going to be your p-value. And that p-value measures out along the major axis or along the axis of symmetry the distance from the vertex to the focus. Now the focus is going to be inside of the parabola. I can also find out the location of the directrix uh, by measuring out the same p-unit distance away from the parabola and again along the axis of symmetry. And the, along the axis of symmetry. That gives me my point of intersection with the directrix and also the axis of symmetry. And I can figure out what the equation is for the directrix because the directrix runs outside of the parabola. It intersects the axis of symmetry at a right angle at the point uh, that is on the axis of symmetry p units from the vertex. All right, so let's go into uh, the equations for the parabola. And the first is going to be an equation where the uh, axis of symmetry is going to be a vertical axis of symmetry. We have a vertical axis of symmetry when y is equal to x squared, or negative y is equal to x squared, or y is equal to negative x squared. Uh, either way, the uh, x value will be squared, the y value uh, is just taken to the first uh, power. So in that case, the equation of the formula for a parabola is going to be 4p times y minus k is equal to x minus h squared. So a couple things to notice. We talked about the p-value. The p-value, again, is the distance from the vertex to the focus along the axis of symmetry and also from the vertex to the point of intersection of the axis of symmetry and the directrix away from or outside of the parabola. Uh, then we also talked about the uh, vertex of the parabola being hk. So you figure out the vertex of the parabola by looking at the equation. In this case, h is always associated with the x value, k is always associated with the y value. Now I also give you some formulas to find the focus and the axis of symmetry and the directrix. And these are really just values for you, uh, or variables for you, without any values. And it really would help for us to go through some examples, which we will do in a couple minutes. You can write down these formulas and these equations. Uh, but we will come back to them and discuss them in more detail. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, formula for a parabola that has an axis of symmetry that's horizontal. In this case, it's 4p times x minus h is equal to y minus k squared. Again, the y value is squared. Our parent formula is x is equal to y squared. Vertex is still hk. The axis of symmetry now is y is equal to k versus x is equal to h. Uh, and then the focus and directrix are listed accordingly. All right, so let's take a couple problems. Let's see what we can do with them just to give you a feel for how uh, the parabolas work. 
Um, so the first, uh, we're going to find out what the p-value is. So we're going to enter the p-value as an exact value around to the nearest tenth. So remember, um, in this format, or this formula, uh, the value that's in front of the value or the variable that's not squared is going to be a, a portion of your p-value. It's going to be 4p y minus 7 is equal to x plus 3 squared. So we can figure out what p is just by dividing this value here by 4. So that gives us 18 over 4, which gives us uh, 4.5. So the distance between the vertex and the focus is going to be 4.5 units. Well, we can find out what the vertex is here because we take a look at the h value and the k value. The vertex is going to be negative 3, 7. So negative 3, 7 is going to be my vertex. Uh, because this parabola opens up, I'm going to move up four units into, um, into the parabola. So my resulting focus is going to be negative 3, 11.5. So my vertex, negative 3, 7. I move up into the parabola, negative 3, 11.5, because the parabola faces up. And I move four and a half units because that's my p value. And again, if you recall, the p value is going to be that distance here from the vertex to the focus along the axis of symmetry. All right, let's take another uh, problem. Let's take the second one. Uh, in this case, my p value is going to be negative 4. Right, so I just divide negative 16 by 4 and I get negative 4. My uh, vertex is going to be negative 2, negative 4, and my parabola, now my parent function is negative x uh, is equal to y squared. So in this case now my parabola opens to the left. Um, since it opens to the left, my vertex is <clears throat> negative 2, negative 4. To move into the parabola, I'm going to move another negative 4 units into the parabola along the axis of symmetry, which is the x, uh, along the x-axis. So my focus now is going to be at negative 6, negative 4. All right, so I've moved 4 units to the left into the parabola, which faces or opens to the left. Okay, so moving on. Let's take a look at one more problem and go through uh, the process of determining how to graph this particular uh, equation for a parabola. So the first thing we do is we figure out what the p-value is. P-value is this value divided by 4, so my p-value is going to be 5. What is the vertex? It's negative 3, 7. Again, h, k. Here is h and here is k. Which way does the graph face? Well, the parent function is going to be y is equal to x squared. Uh, there's no negative value, so the graph is going to face up. What are the coordinates for the focus? Well, let's just draw a graph here. I know that the vertex is at negative 3, 7. Uh, my parabola looks something like this. It opens up. Vertex at negative 3, 7. P-value is 5. So that means I'm going to move 5 units into the parabola. And uh, my uh, coordinates for the focus are going to be negative 3, 12. What are the equation, what's the equation for the directrix? Well, I know the directrix is along the axis of symmetry. Uh, five units away from the parabola, from the vertex. So I mark off one, two, three, four, five units. And I end up at negative three, two, negative three, two, as a point of intersection for the parabola. So I know that my parabola runs uh, perpendicular to the axis of symmetry. It intersects at negative 3, 2. So I know that the equation for the directrix is going to be y is equal to 2. So I write that here, y is equal to 2. All right, so let's talk about specifically, this gives you just a, a rough feel for how we discover or graph um, an equation uh, that we're given for a parabola. Let's go through uh, the process more specifically on graphing uh, a parabola. Okay, so we're going to talk about graphing. I'm going to go through one equation, then we're going to go through uh, the four steps in graphing a parabola. Okay, here we go. We're going to take a, an example of an equation for a parabola, and then we're going to find the axis of symmetry first, we're going to find the vertex, we're going to find the focus, and then we're going to find the directrix, 
and we're going to graph all of those as we go through the process in uh, that order, uh, axis of symmetry, vertex, focus, and directrix. Okay, so here's the equation, a graph uh, 24 times y plus 3 is equal to x minus 4 squared. And let's go ahead and find the axis of symmetry. So the first thing we want to do is determine the variable with the squared value. That's going to be uh, x squared. Uh, so we find the parent function is going to be y is equal to x squared. So I know that the axis of symmetry is going to be vert vertical because this particular graph opens up. Then we want to uh, determine the h or k value associated with the, value, uh, the variable that has the squared value. So in this case, I have x minus 4. The h value is going to be 4. Then we want to determine the equation for the axis of symmetry. The equation is the variable of the squared value, which is equal to the h or k value. So in this case, very simply, the axis of symmetry is x is equal to 4. All right, so the first thing we do is determine the variable with the squared value. It's x. Then we determine the h or k value associated with the variable with the squared value. It's going to be 4. Then we determine the equation of the axis of symmetry. It's simply x is equal to 4. All right, so let's go ahead and graph that x is equal to 4. I've graphed that uh, in the xy coordinate plane. The next step for us is to find the vertex. All right, the vertex is going to be that hk value associated with the equation. In this case, it's going to be 4, negative 3. So 4, negative 3. Of course, I can reference the appropriate equation based on whether or not I have a vertical axis of symmetry or horizontal axis of symmetry. We can see here that my axis of symmetry is vertical. My vertex is going to be 4, negative 3. So I go ahead and plot my vertex, 4, negative 3. Then my next step is to find the focus. I determine the value of P. And of course, sometimes you might need to rewrite the equation such that you have that constant value in front of the variable that is not being squared. In this case, the equation is already written that way. So I find the p value, simply I divide this constant value or this value by uh, 4, and I end up with a p value that is equal to 6. Now I want to move along the axis of symmetry into the parabola, 6 units, and this is going to be the coordinate of the focus. So my uh, vertex is 4, negative 3. I'm going to move 6 units into the parabola from the vertex and I end up with a focus of 4, 3. So let's go ahead and graph the focus at 4, 3. I moved 6 units into the parabola. And my focus is at 4, 3. Axis of symmetry at uh, x is equal to 4. My vertex at the hk value 4, negative 3. All right, lastly, I want to find the directrix. I want to recall the coordinates from the vertex. Uh, remember the vertex is going to be 4, negative 3. Identify the p-value, which was 6. And now I'm going to move along the axis of symmetry p units away from the vertex outside of the parabola, and I'm going to identify this point. So I recall that the graph opened up. That means that my p-value, or my directrix, is going to be um, away or down from the vertex. So I'm going to subtract 6 units from the y component and I get uh, 4, negative 9 as the point of intersection between the axis of symmetry and the directrix. Now I'm going to determine the equation for the directrix. The directrix runs perpendicular uh, through the axis of symmetry and the point identified in step 3. So I know that the uh, graph is going to uh, show me that the directrix will run at a point 4, negative 6, which we'll go ahead and mark off. Sorry, 4, negative 9, which is 6 units away from the vertex. And I know that that uh, directrix runs perpendicular to the axis of symmetry. So then the equation for the axis of symmetry becomes y is equal to 9. And now I can graph my parabola. My parabola, as I mentioned, opens up. Focus at 4, 3. Vertex at 4, negative 3. My directrix at y is equal to 9. Axis of symmetry, uh, x is equal to 4. All right, that is it for graphing parabolas. Thanks for joining us. Hope you learned a little bit about um, 
taking an equation and graphing. Again, we'll walk through the steps real quickly. We find the axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry is x is equal to 4. You look for that squared variable. Uh, you make that equal to the h or k value. You find the vertex, h or k values, or h, k values for the vertex. You find the focus by finding the value of p, marching out into the parabola, p units. And then you find the directrix by using that value of p, marching p units away or outside of the uh, parabola along the axis of symmetry, finding that point of uh, intersection between the axis of symmetry and the directrix, and then uh, defining the equation for the directrix. And then after you have all those values, all those points in a line, you're able to draw the parabola and you end up with uh, a graph that looks something like this. Okay, once again, thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you later when we talk about hyperbolas in the next edition of Auden Math.